Hey, we're down here in the Fort Worth Stockyard, standing in front of the John Wayne and American Experience exhibit. But tonight, since I have so much family in town, we're gonna let them take you guys through the exhibit and talk about what's important to them and what memories they have. You know, people don't know that about him, and I think that is one of the things here that people will learn about him. I love this museum. I am so proud of it. When people ask me what's your favorite part of the museum, it's hard for me to narrow it down. I could spend all day in here. Hi, I'm Anita Swift. Hi, I'm Laura Munoz Boutini. And I'm here at the Fort Worth Stockyards at the John Wayne American Experience. And I'm here to show you a few of my favorite spots in this beautiful space. I love this museum. I am so proud of it. When people ask me what's your favorite part of the museum, it's hard for me to narrow it down. I could spend all day in here. It's just such a proud history of my grandfather's life. I'm here at the 26 bar area in front of this fabulous station wagon that I rolled around in the back seat of many a time with all of my cousins. We used to come out to the 26 bar ranch, but the cattle sales at Thanksgiving time were really the most fun. My grandfather would have us all come out early and we would celebrate Thanksgiving with all of our cousins and some of the other ranchers that would come out for the cattle sale and their families. And we would take over the Francisco Grande Hotel in Casa Grande. And that was a huge hotel that the baseball team would take over during the summer. It was a lot of fun. And of course, we were so well behaved. None of our parents would get mad at us or anything. We'd never get in trouble. And many people don't know that my grandfather was a rancher and had a, a very successful Hereford ranch uh, and cotton ranch in Arizona. And the 26 Bar Ranch, his partner in that ranch was Louis Johnson, who was really the brains behind the whole operation. And he and my grandfather would do these, you know, little side bets and they would, somebody would end up with a car usually every year over some amount of cotton that they were gonna bring in or some amount that a bull or something would bring in at the cattle sale. But these particular cattle sales were great because my grandfather loved having his family around, and this was definitely one event that he would see all of us. We loved it because, you know, we got to see him, we got to be around him and all of our cousins and our uncles and aunts, so it was great to be out there. Um, this happens to be one of my favorite rooms because I wasn't really a history buff in school. That wasn't my thing. But I love getting to know people who are older than me. And why? Because they're history, they're walking history books. They're just amazing people full of energy who went through it and lived through it. And that's kind of why I love this room because this takes you through decades and decades of history through the eyes of my grandfather, John Wayne. And so when you're learning about what was happening in the world and what movies were being made at the time and how John Wayne was impacting the world and the things that were happening in the films and in the different countries that he was filming at or states, it gives history a whole different perspective. So I really, really am proud of this room because while well, he's not here today for me to have to sit down and have these conversations with him, but that's another reason why I like this room because it really kind of follows the history of his career and the struggles. And he wasn't always having the best time in movies or having the best movies, but he never stopped his whole entire life despite what was going on, he just kept trying and getting better and getting better and getting better. So I'm just really, really proud of this museum because of just being able to see this man who had this impact on the world, not only through the movies that he made, but by the example that he set for people. And then in the summertime, we got to go up to Springerville and we would be, we would ride horses and, and um, they would take us out and it was so much fun. And those, those kids, uh, the LaForce kids, I see, in fact, we're honoring him, Jack LaForce, who was the general manager of the ranch this year at the National Cowboy Western Heritage Museum with a big award. It's very cool because this ranch was the, the first ranch to use Temple Grandin, uh, her round pen method of uh, getting cows inoculated and into their, the feedlot pens and, and things. So, you know, it was 
up an amazing ranch. And people to this day will tell you that, that his whole ranch, the method of raising the cattle and those bulls that he raised were amazing. And they brought in a lot of good money. You know, people don't know that about him. And I think that that is one of the things here that people will learn about him. And also the fact that, you know, he had us all around him there and he loved it. So, you know, that's the 26 Bar Ranch. So one of the things that's super cool that this room highlights is that you might not know that John Wayne in his career did over 169 films. So one of the incredible things is not just these pictures of him starring in each different movie. It has all the different decades from the films that he was in, some of his wonderful leading ladies, the different roles he played, not just as a cowboy. But one thing I really love, and this is when I start talking about history, is on this wall. You see dates all the way up to 19. 76. It's absolutely incredible to see these movies written out like this and, and also just some of these really great motivational phrases that my grandfather used to say are all over the walls here. I mean this one is always encouraging to me. It says, I've worked in a business where it's almost a requirement to break your word but whenever I signed a contract for five years or a certain amount of money I've always lived up to it. That really speaks to my grandfather's character and what he taught us is that you are a person of your word and when you commit to something, you see it through, you do it. And you do it the way you said you were gonna do it and you give them what you promised. And that's something that we just have in our blood and it's something I'm so proud of. The quote that I really, really love that my grandfather says, especially when people are having a bad day or going through a bad time, says, tomorrow is the most important thing in life. It comes into us at midnight. When it arrives, it's clean. It gives us an opportunity to learn from yesterday and to start anew. I rephrase that a little bit, but I love that because even if you have a bad day or you made a bad choice at midnight, you have a chance to start all over again and you have a choice. And just like at the 26 Bar Ranch, family meant everything. And this, this room shows really a lot of home pictures of us for Christmas and other situations, um, just home shots of um, my grandfather and all of us. And this one in particular was Christmas. You know, a lot of people don't realize that John Wayne had seven children and my mother was his oldest daughter, Tony, uh, Mary Antonia, and her mother was Josephine, his first wife, and they had four children. Michael, Tony, my mother, Patrick, and Melinda. And my mother had eight children. Michael had five children. Um, Patrick had five children. Melinda had five children. Those were his, you know, those were the beginnings of his grandkids. Then he had Aisa and, and Marisa and Ethan with Pilar. And so those are the seven children. And so I'm the oldest at 65. And Marisa has the youngest grandchild, Duke, who is 16 years old. So we're the bookends of grandchildren. I think there's 28 of us and then you know we have great grandchildren we love to get together and we do it every year here in the stockyards on May 26th for my grandfather's birthday he would love to know that you know my mother would love to know that too because I try to bring all my kids and they bring their kids they have a great time and my mom and my grandfather both love to read books and they would get into great political discussions they were pretty much on the same page politically but they would love to have good discussions and my mom was hysterical and she had a great laugh and you could hear her laugh you know across the room and you know once she started laughing everybody else laughed they were a, a good pair my grandfather and my mom and um, but they would always be playing cards my mother was not good enough to play with my grandfather and Pilar they were they were very competitive but you know they they loved to have everybody on the boat and they loved to have everybody down in Balboa and I spent many a weekend down there with them. When I see this room, it makes me remember all those really great times that we had as a family down there also. So, and there's some letters in here that we wrote as kids that he wrote back to us. When I remember when I was in the eighth grade, I was in a play. Um, I was uh, Fagin in Oliver and he sent me a telegram every night. For those of you who don't know what a telegram is, it was a yellow piece of paper that you would get and it would say, you know, like 10 words on it or something. But it was, you know, 
Dear Miss Swift, I want to sign you to a contract at the studio. And it was, you know, signed Louis B. or Lou Wasserman. And he sent that to me every night for the run of the show. And he would send me flowers. So, you know, even though he was busy, he always, he was always there. Always, if there was something important in your life, he would reach out to you, you know. He was, he was a great grandfather. He was, you know, people always ask me, what was he like? And I always say, what was your grandfather like? You know, because he was a great grandfather. So I think this shows how much he loved his family. Um, I think there's great pieces that show you that here at the exhibit. So come on down and see what my grandfather was like. Thank you so much for letting me share a few family things with you and to see a little bit of this amazing museum. There's so much more I'd love to show you. So why don't you come on down here and join us and see it yourself and hopefully I'll get to meet you and walk you through some of these things.